What's up, everybody? How y'all doing out there? It's your boy, Derek. Pretty boy, Dow. Pretty boy, the Panther. Growl for me, ladies. Growl. Yeah. And welcome to another show of Live from Sour Apple, the new age question of the day show, where I bring you a guest, we issue you a question, and you go to www.lapnation.blogspot.com. And you put your comments on, and you let us know, and we we go back and forth. That's that's how we communicate right now. Today, my guest is, I would have to say, one of the most talented talented editors I know right now, next to Angela Latimer before she shoot me, <laughs> and um, you know, dope uh, events planner. Like, just, just all around great gal, beautiful black woman. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Annika McClure. Hi. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. So, you, so you've seen a couple of the, the live style Apple shows, so of you pretty course. much know how it go. Why don't you just go ahead and go in on them right now? Okay, here's my question. What happened to Timeless Music? Oh, yeah, that's a good one, guys. Think about that. So, so question of the day, because you know this is my only job to repeat her question. What happened to Timeless Music? So why don't you hit us off with what you think, like, who you... Okay, so take, for instance, like, back in the 80s, I was born, but I still heard the music from the parents. And it was great. You know, it was original. People actually talked about something, but... Nowadays, not I'm not gonna name any artists because I don't want to put them on blast to start a war. But it's all mainstream. It talks about the same thing. It's remakes, and it's not no longer appealing. And everything has a dance to it. I so. personally feel you should drop some names so they can have a oh, point of reference. Yeah, that's true. So they got a um, Soldier Boy. I like Gucci Mane, but Gucci Mane and just a couple artists like that. Uh, Flo Rida. They all have a dance to the song. They don't talk about anything. They talk about money and seeing girls on the pole and everything. I want to hear about some real stuff in life. And if you want to talk about grinding or enjoying life or whatever, you know, the 80s, the early 90s did that. Even when we had Biggie and Pot. What happened? It's mm. like all the music is going down the drain now, literally. Well, you know what? For me, I feel like it's like a catch-22. And the only reason I say that is because I'm happy to see anybody successful. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely happy to see you successful no matter how. You, well, mm, as long as it's within reason and legal and you're not hurting anybody else. So, yeah, you know, because I, I rock to that Kiss Me Through the Phone. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? I rock, I, rock, I rock through that. You know, I was so boy up in it. I was going, you know. <laughs> Um, I'm not really the biggest Gucci fan or everything, but he catchy, you know, so I, it's, it's a catch on too because it's like, man, I'm, I'm happy that you're successful, mm -hmm. but not necessarily happy with the music that you put out. Right. Luckily for them and us, art is all subjective. Mm -hmm. So it's all about opinions, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you know, some of the best films out there don't make no money compared mm -hmm. to some of the worst films out yeah. there. But I mean, um, what happened to the timeless music? Because I'm, you like, if you really think about it, I can, I don't even have to go as far back as like the Marvin Gaye's and the mm -hmm. Luther Vandross draws and stuff like that. Because I can think about, I could just take it back to like ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven. Drew Hill. Yeah. Tell me what you want. I st every time I hear that, I still think about that. Mm -hmm. uh, Silk the Red album. Oh yeah. Meeting in my bedroom. That that man. Come on. What? Yeah. Who don't still get jiggy up, man? What? Mm -hmm. That finds its way into my special playlist all the time. <laughs> the uh, old. I mean, you. I mean, you still got like the old the NDREs. And the problem is to me, it's like even the older people mm -hmm. who put those classics out. It's like they still not putting those classics out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And no offense to like a Snoop Dogg or something. I still honestly. Don't think he had a better album than Doggy Style. No. I, I mean, no. I just really... And I was extra young. And I was like, this mm -hmm. is... You know what I'm saying? Then you got... You got you got the Jays. I think... You know, which is just my opinion. I think he's like... I think he's... I think Jay is getting better. Honestly, like, don't get me wrong. I think his first was a classic. Then the other the other few ones, they were, they were okay to me. Mm -hmm. Like, if you go back and listen to... Like, Hard Knock Life Part 2. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of slow rap. Like, it's kind of, like, it's kind of dull to me. Like, mm -hmm. like he's got a couple hits on there, you know, the ones that drop. But some of the flow is kind of dull, and I think he's still crafting him. And I think that's probably what makes him a master. Yeah. Um, R. Kelly ain't even really trying no more. Don't get me wrong. He still got stuff that you be like, mm -hmm. it's dope. Yeah. But it's not, he's not giving you what... 
It's nothing like twelve play. Yeah, it's um, not like that because twelve play three TP2. was like TP two was a, was a classic, yeah. but like TP three, I was like, you should have called that balling in a hood or something because yeah. that was not. And that I'm was, sorry. even though Real Talk was the best song you could have made for us frustrated men. Thank you, Real Talk Kells. <laughs> You gonna burn what? I wish you would burn my clothes. With your trifling, <laughs> Milton. That was it. Oh, that yeah. was the that was the deal. Yeah. But what what happened? What do you what do you guys think it is? Do you think it's the computer age that's killing it? Do you think you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. people are not even uh, musicians anymore, for real. It's a lot of um, people that really are not using instruments, and I can even say. Um, you know, with the field that I'm in now, mm -hmm. I do work with a lot of producers as well. And they take a song, throw it in the keyboard, or throw it in the B-pad. That's it. That's it. No. You got a guitar riff and... Drums. You know. Like, is it is that it? Because you, you got to understand, too, like, don't get me wrong, I'm a huge, huge, huge computer fan, but it's mm -hmm. like... Uh, you know, some, the soul sometimes lies within the music. Yeah. within Within the instrument. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And it's different from pressing the button to literally having to forge the strings. Right. Literally have to beat the drums. Literally, you know, just getting into it. Yeah. And, I, and I think that's, that's what we missing a little bit. Mm -hmm. I definitely, but I mean, other than that, I'm definitely proud. And I have to go back to it. Yeah, I'm definitely proud of of all the artists who, who are going out there and making money doing, you know, the whole thing. Because, you know, you open doors for me. You win, I win. It's just statistics. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy about that. But, you know, I, I think we're going to wrap it up. You got anything else to finish? Uh, that's really it. I, I just want my question to answer because I hope I'm not the only one that feels this way. Y'all, so. get on there. Answer my girl, Annika, question. Check out her fashion show in September. This has been another successful showing of live from Sour <laughs> Apple. We Chuck Deuces all day every day <laughs>